rubbish vlogs. Don't even bother watching. Yeah. Wouldn't bother watching. Come on, Cal, we gotta go. It's holiday time. Holiday? <laughs> holiday? All in for Berlin. Forget your perfume. We're going to duty free. Uh, on you, is it, babe? <laughs> I think we were going for a week. We're going for one run. We're a bit matchy matchy. <laughs> Rookie mistake, save the legs for Sunday. Oh. I'll see you in Germany! So we've come out for a bit of an explore. We've got Brandenburg Gate behind me. Ah, oh, it's going to be a good feeling when I finally see that on Sunday. Um, we'll be like nearly, nearly there. Um, see the blue dotted line. Oh my God, it's windy. I hope it's not as windy on Sunday. Uh, we've seen all the signage with spectators and to the start line. It's really exciting. We went for Italian food tonight. I don't know why. He's probably going to do Italian tomorrow, maybe even the next night. Um, no choice. Uh, I, I wanted to go to a disco place with the bright lights. All I, can, all I know is you're eating like chocolate wafer things. Should we talk about sweets? <laughs> Should we talk about sweets? All right. You won't make a show though. Is that my secret stash? I was just about to say, I had a big bowl of pasta and a pizza. I don't know why I'm eating so much. I'm not even trying to carb load. Um, you're gluttonous. And then <laughs> I've got a bunch of Haribo. I'm just, I don't know. You've got I'm, no self-control. I've lost the plot. It's not a self-control. I just, I'm, I think I'm too relaxed about this marathon. And it's ended up being, um, ended up Same being. Same as every other marathon. It's ended up, <laughs> it's ended up with me eating too much. But I've got a few days to let that food settle. I'll eat a little less tomorrow because I feel like I'm already carb loaded. I've done very little running this week. And um, I'm pretty sure my body is full up of glycogen already. Good morning. So it's Friday morning. Uh, slept really well last night. Had a lie in this morning, which was lush. Haven't had one of those in a long time. Um, that's one of my race week tips is try and bank as much sleep as you can. Um, because... I feel like on the actual night before the race, all the nerves kick in and it's difficult to get any sleep. Plus you get up super, super early uh, to eat your breakfast before the race. So if you can get some decent night's sleep leading into that, um, you'll feel fine on race day. Today the plan is go and get some breakfast now and then just head over to the expo, uh, get our bibs, have a little look around. Uh, normally, at an expo, I'm in a bit of a rush, but today we haven't got much to do, so um, we can relax a little bit, have a little look around, soak it up, and then come back and either nap or, well, I've got, I've got some work to do as well, um, and then maybe some touristy stuff later on. We'll see. But yeah, um, feeling refreshed, feeling good, and race day is now two days away. We are heading off to the expo. We're going to jog over there just a couple of miles. Should we run now? Let's run. <laughs> So we're on the way to the expo and we found a massive hill to run up. The first thing both me and Kelly do is look on the road to make sure there's no blue line 
like, this better not be on the course. This is ridiculous. Yeah, you're right. But we're okay. Huh? A hill? Yeah. Then it's meant to be flat. Flat and fast, they said. They promised. Are you ready? I hope so. We have a number, Sunday, it's gonna be big! So, now we're in the quandary. I love this jacket, I want it, but it's 120 euros. Do I fork out 120 euros on a jacket? It's already an expensive weekend, I'm just not so sure. These, these expos, they drag you in, and they know you're gonna wanna buy stuff. It's a trap. It's a trap, I'm telling you. Unlike London, where you get a finisher's t-shirt included in the price, and it's about 30 quid to enter, Berlin is like 100 quid to enter or something like that, and you don't get a finisher's t-shirt. So, I'm not saying it's a bad event, because it's an amazing event, but it's a bit pricey, and you don't get a t-shirt. So, do I buy a finisher's t-shirt? Do I buy a jacket? Do I stop being tight? Or do I save my money for pasta? She's got very carried away. What is she doing? Kelly. Oh, <laughs> Why are you buying so much stuff? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you You've been jacket? dragged into the expo trap. Have you bought that jacket or just wearing I'm it? I'm just wearing it. Just, <laughs> just getting some, some air time in it. Uh, I just find the one last medium. And you like it, yeah? That's the last. And it, even medium, yeah, but yeah. So, if that's the last medium, what about everyone that comes to the expo on different days? Oh, it's all kicking off down there, because it's all large and extra large. Are they going to bring out more? Are you buying the finishers t-shirt? I don't know what I'm buying, babe. What are you doing? Are you buying all that? What do you mean all that? I want the shorts as well. The oh shorts are lush. God. The shorts are really good. Help me now! Help me! So that is bib collected. What is the damage from the shop? Well, I wanted the jacket, but I just couldn't justify 120 euros on it. Um, so in the end, I bought some shorts, but I bought the women's shorts, because basically the men's were crap. They were like long shorts, and yeah, they, they weren't right. But the women's are like proper short shorts, colorful. So I've gone with some of those. So if you see me cross-dressing around Lydney, you know why. <laughs> More matchy-matchy. I told you. I told you, he's got a thing of copying me, so he copied my shorts again. Um, we were very matchy-matchy at one point when we had shorts and jackets in hand. <laughs> we could have been Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Or like, only fools and horses. <laughs> Don't be <don't> Rodney. <laughs> Did too badly. We didn't get completely uh, taken to taken to town. Taken... This time next year we'll be millionaires. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm excited for the marathon. I want to run a marathon. So we've just had more food. Uh, we had Mexican tonight, and there was marathon runners sitting behind us, and they ordered the same as us. We're like, oh yeah, you know, we're eating the same as the other marathon runners. But that was our starter. They, they just left it at that. We continue to eat and got a main meal as well. Um, so now we're a bit bloated and we're feeling like, well, why are we eating double the amount or more than the other marathon runners? But you know, we're all different. So our plan is to make sweet risotto as our pre-race breakfast. So we're now in a supermarket buying a saucepan and the ingredients if we can find them. But this supermarket is really cool. It's the day before the big dance. Race day is tomorrow. We are about to head out on our last run before the race. Just gonna head to the local park, do about 20 minutes, add in some strides at the end. And that is the work done then. Um, gonna just spend the next 10 or 15 minutes doing some activation, some, some dynamic stuff just to get loose. Then we're gonna put the race shoes on and head out. So hopefully we feel quite good and poppy for the last 20 minutes of running before Berlin Marathon tomorrow. We're both really excited 
Conditions today are perfect. It's cold, there's no wind. Tomorrow it's gonna to be 24 degrees, which isn't ideal, but you can only control what you can control. So we're not gonna stress about it. We're just gonna run our race tomorrow, uh, try and run smart, and uh, what will be will be. And it's just exciting to be back at a world marathon major, racing the marathon, doing what I love, and I can't wait. So that's my last shakeout done. I uh, did 15 minutes, uh, just around the park. Didn't feel particularly great, but the way I look at it is the only day that matters is race day. So not feeling particularly great in the taper means very little. You can tell I'm a little bit nervous, but I will save those nerves and use them tomorrow. I tell you what, <laughs> some Europeans are just so blunt. So we were talking to this guy about the marathon tomorrow and he asked what time you want to run. And I said, oh, I don't know, somewhere in around 2.30 would be great. And he's like, with your shape, your body, you think you can run 2.30? I was like, all right, I've got put a few pounds on, but yeah, I, look, I want to get close. I've done it before, a couple of times. But yeah, uh, I didn't take offense. I just thought it was quite funny. Um, I haven't got the typical marathon runner body but it shows it doesn't matter if you put the work in you can still run fast It's race morning. I've had my sweet risotto. I've had some coffee. I've had a shower. And now I've just been re-looking over the plan, the strategy, um, the mantras, and uh, yeah, just waiting now, hoping that I get to go to the toilet before I go down to the race because Portaloo drama is always um, not ideal. But um, yeah, feeling good, feeling nervous, obviously, but I've been quite relaxed and quite calm for the last few days, I feel. And I was hoping to just bottle it all up and then let the nerves come out now. So it'll be that adrenaline buzz when I hit the start line. There's a reason why you get more out of yourself in a race. And I think one of them is that uh, the nerves help you run a little bit faster. It's time to go. Off you pop then. <laughs> <laughs> It's marathon time! You know what? I don't get to run a marathon. Yeah, you do that. Why not? Why not? Bye then. Express yourself! Express yourself! So every marathon I like to like take a song around the course with me and today I've gone with Express Yourself. So I've just been uh, singing that for the last 10 minutes and I'll probably sing it all the way around the course because um, that's what my aim is today, just to go out there, and be a marathon runner, express myself, express my fitness, and express my mental strength, all in one. Just express my character in running. I'm looking forward to it. It's race day, I've just walked across the course, and uh, I'm gonna head over to the start zone, stash my bag, and get on with this. So I'm outside the race leg, and this is where you stash your bag, and then you find your start uh, start pen. It's uh, there's a buzz around already. It's really exciting. I love big race days. I love this buzz and this feeling of everyone a little like anticipating the race to come. Um, yeah, it's really exciting.
Berlin Marathon 2021. So we were off. Berlin Marathon had started. Initially, I actually found it difficult to get into my rhythm because lots of people were running different paces and it was quite crowded. But not long after that, I settled into a good rhythm, sat behind this massive group and felt pretty good. But already it was really warm. I went through 5k in 17.31, which is 3.31 a kilometer or 5.39 per mile. And this pace would equate to a 2.28 marathon. The atmosphere was amazing on the course and I was really enjoying myself. We were ticking off the miles. It was hot and humid, but I was sat at the back of the pack and I felt good. And we went through 10K in 34.58. It was a little bit quicker than I thought to be going at this stage, but I was feeling good. However, I did feel like the pack was starting to pick up the pace or the heat was starting to impact me. So I wasn't gonna kill myself to keep on the pack. I was gonna run my own race. At about 11k, the pack got away from me. This is a pivotal moment in the race. Do I work a little bit harder and sit on the pack and get the psychological and physical gains of running with others? Or do I let them go and just ease off? I decided that I was working a bit hard and it would make sense just to sit back and relax into the race. There's a long way to go. Another runner was running about the same pace as me, so I sat behind him and tried to get into a nice rhythm. The benefit of this is that I could switch off, not look at my watch, and just tick off the miles. In the race, I turned auto lap off and lapped my watch at every 5k split. This meant I didn't have to rely on GPS and I could just have a quick glance at the time for every 5k. If it started with a 17, I was good. If it started with an 18, I was no longer on PB pace. My legs were feeling pretty good at 20k, but I was finding the heat tough. Every water station, I would take a quick sip and then pour the rest over my head. I took a gel at 10K and then I took a caffeinated Mortine gel at 20K. I went through halfway in 74 minutes and 27 seconds, which is great, it would be a PB. And I still felt like I was holding back and that I could kick on a 30K. We were running as a group of maybe like four or five of us about the same pace, but we weren't really working together the way we should have been, which was a shame because it would have helped us all. I had been pre-warned that between 20 and 30k there's a slight elevation gain. Not much in it, but enough for your legs to notice. Go, go! Go, Matthew! Go, Welsh runner! Go, go! So I wasn't going to worry if pace started to slip in this stage. It was all about feel. I wanted to get to 30k feeling good, ready to push on and finish strong. I had in my mind that I was going to play a game. How many people can you pass in the last 10k? Held off. I held off. I hit 30k. It was go time. Time to push on. Time to race this marathon. Initially, I started to pass a few runners and felt really strong. But out of nowhere, my calves started to get really tight. And suddenly I realised, oh dear, there's a long way to go and I'm struggling. I thought I'd be absolutely flying from 35k on, but it was getting hotter and hotter, my pace was slipping, and my cars were getting more and more sore. I was really struggling, and I just wanted the end to come. I had to fight in the heat and just give it everything. Support was still amazing out on the course in most places, but there were parts of the course that were quite lonely and quite quiet. It was difficult. The race had been strung out now, and there was very little running with others, and it was just a war of attrition trying to get to the end. The last few cases seemed to go on forever. Every corner I would turn and expect to see Brandenburg Gate, and it wasn't there. A runner came past me who seemed to be having so much fun, and it reminded me, Matt, you're running a marathon. Don't wish for the end. Enjoy it. Enjoy being back running and enjoy the final few K.
once you pass through Brandenburg Gate, I've been pre-warned, don't start sprinting, you've still got a fair bit to go. I took that advice on board and enjoyed the final few hundred metres. I came across and saw that I was under two hours and 35 minutes and was really pleased with the time considering the conditions. I was delighted to finish and a little bit emotional too. I love marathon running and I had just completed the Berlin Marathon in two hours and 34 minutes and 17 seconds. I was 109th place and I had ticked off my second marathon major in my quest to finish all six. One of the hardest marathons I've, I've ever run. Oh, that was tough. Oh, proud of myself for that. I struggled, I really struggled. But I'm here, I'm at the finish line. Berlin Marathon. And marathon running is back. Restart running. Oh, I did it. That was really, really tough. Oh, the heat was too much for me. But I went all in, I gave it everything. I wanted to kick on near the end, but I just had nothing. Uh, the lack of marathon specific long runs um, really showed, but I'm really happy with the way I ran it. I feel like I ran it pretty smart. I just couldn't kick on on tired cars. As the heat hit 24, it was too much for me. But it's Berlin Marathon, and I've done it, and it was 2.34 something. Oh, that's a hell of a run. In, this, in these conditions, I'm just so proud of myself. I'm proud of myself just for sticking at it and giving it a go. Going all in, taking a chance. Wasn't my day time-wise, but it was a decent performance. Get in. So, just seen Bakeli, he came third. I'm not sure what other runners ran, if they were close to their PBs, but... It's absolutely scorching hot. I'd be on a beach in Wales in, in, these, in this, these conditions. Actually, I wouldn't. I'd be in the shade. Um, yeah, Whew. it was a tough one. Hello. Thank you. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Get your medals here, your medallion, and then after you get your mask on, um, all your mouth and nose to cover. Denk mir sei denn, ihr habt eure Masken mit, dann setzt ihr gerne jetzt schon wieder. Thank you. Nach der Medaillenübergabe. Hi, one minute PB in these conditions. What is that? 242, brilliant running. Well done, mate. Thank you so much. I can't believe I finally met you in person. <laughs> it's been too long for you two already. Yeah. Back to running. Back to marathon. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good job, man. Thank you. Sweet tea. Oh, never tasted so good right now. Need the liquids, need the sugar. So I thought I was holding something back. I thought there was plenty of legs, plenty of running left in my legs for 30k onwards, but there wasn't. Basically, I thought I was in control and I could push on, but the legs didn't have it. I felt really good aerobically. Uh, I only took two gels and energy wasn't an issue, um, but it was uh, just the fact that I haven't done those hard long runs. I haven't done any hard long runs, so. Yeah, that caught up with me and my calves. Didn't want to play ball, but gave it a good crack. And I'm really happy. So I've changed into some dry clothes because I was doing a lot of pouring water over my head during the race to try and cool myself down. Um, I'm walking very slowly. I don't know <laughs> how much of Kelly I'm gonna see, but I will try and get out on the course. Not that I really know the course, but I will try my best to go and find her. Um, I might have to throw down a Erdinger alcohol fry first because it's got like stuff in it that'll help me recover I think salts and electrolytes and stuff like that um, I've also got to find out where to put this chip so I think you get fined if you don't give it back but I haven't seen anywhere to give it yet um, but yeah just been chatting about the race I love the post race chat people going my GPS was too long yeah I know it's, it's that's the game mate Lap it at every 5k, then you'll be alright. This is absolutely typical, the tracking is not working or I'm not in signal or something, but I haven't got any updates on Kelly. It's too hot as well, it's just too hot. Well done! Well done, really strong! I honestly never realised 
the absolute carnage with cuts. That poses a massive challenge. Yeah, no, it's okay, then you've got the last two. I've got a friend. <laughs> 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 